Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Demarius Jackson. So in today's video, I'm going to be comparing, bam, these four mouthpieces. So if you look back through some of my video archives, you'll know that I actually bought this horn. It's a Yamaha 62 purple label from a pawn shop a few months ago. And so far it's been a great horn, but one problem has persisted. I had a mouthpiece that I was using before. It was a Drake and it just sounds to me totally different on this horn than it did on my previous horn, which was an Eastman. So I thought I'd share with you the journey of going through some of my mouthpieces in my collection and seeing what they sound like on this horn. I've actually already done this, so this is just a act after video, I guess you want to call it that. But I thought it would be valuable to share with some of you out there if you're interested in any of these mouthpieces. So to name them off, this is a Warburton uh, J. It looks like it's stamped. I got this from a warehouse a long time ago. I don't know. The next one is the one that you probably see me play on most of the time. It is a Claude Lakey 4x4. Four four. I actually bought this mouthpiece up in Tokyo. It was equivalent to about $100. And the next one is a tried and true favorite of mine, a Meyer 5 medium chamber. And the last one that I'll try, it's one that I had for a while, a Van Dorn A5. This is a V16S Plus. So for this mouthpiece review, what I'm going to do is actually just play a chromatic scale. I'll play a couple of notes in altissimo so you'll see what that sounds like. And I'll play uh, one time through the head of Chi Chi and then we'll just move on to the next mouthpiece. And if you're interested in trying any of these mouthpieces out, click the links in the bio. I have them there. You can check out the current prices or uh, go shop around and do your thing. Oh yeah, and before I play it, I'll make sure I'll go over what read I'm using and all that good stuff, uh, just so you can get a general idea of what's going on. But for all of them, uh-oh, I don't even see it. Let me go get it. And so for all these mouthpieces, I'm going to be using this Rovner ligature, just mainly because it holds the read on the best. And without further ado, here we go. All right, so for the first mouthpiece, this is the Claude Lakey 4x4 with a Jazz or Van Dorn ZZ two and a half. So this one is the Van Dorn V16 A5S Plus. I know a lot of players nowadays are playing on these Van Dorn mouthpieces. I used this one for a while. I'm going to be playing on the same two and a half uh, Van Dorn ZZ Reed. Here we go. <laughs> I have to change my voicing around. Excuse me.
yeah, this is another one for me. This probably could use a harder read. I feel like I'm overblowing. I, I need a little bit more resistance. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, and here we go with the Warburton. Once again, I got this actually at a Warburton factory. I think I was in Florida at the time. I honestly don't remember. Uh, but it's a J, and I'm playing with a Van Doren ZZ 2.5 on this one as well. It feels like it wants to close off on me on the upper register, but let's go ahead and bust out some Chi Chi. Three. <laughs> Yeah, so with this one, the sound is definitely different. Um, I would probably try a couple of different read combinations with this one as well. But that was the Warburton. Let's move on to the last one. All right, and last but definitely not least, we have a Meyer 5M. This is not a vintage or anything like that. It's just a normal stock Meyer 5M, and I'm using the same Van Doren 2.5 ZZ read on this one as well. bit harder to control but it's all good I gotta get used to it So there you have it. Those were just four of the mini mouth pieces that I have in my collection. Did you hear any difference? Leave a comment below if you heard any kind of differences in between the sound of any of them. I know I definitely felt a difference and I will probably explore with a couple of reads. But once again, if you need any recommendations, I would strongly suggest if you're a beginner player, just going ahead and uh, getting a Meyer 5M or a Meyer 6M and just starting there and see where you go. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this journey. I hope you liked the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Out.